10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have lift off. Fifth Electron is now in the air, having successfully lifted off the pad at Launch Complex 1. It's Inspective's Strix 3 satellite, it's on its way to space. The next critical stage in Electron's flight is Max Q, or Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. This is when the vehicle's velocity is at its maximum and the vehicle experiences the most amount of mechanical stress. Let's listen in for the call from Mission Control for when Electron clears that stage of flight. Approaching next queue. Cleared max queue. There we go. Electron has successfully passed through max Q and at an altitude of just over 15 kilometers is well on its way to pass the Kármán line and enter space. The nine sea level Rutherford engines on the first stage are operating nominally and we are approaching the next series of events in the mission. The first milestone after max Q is MECO, or main engine cutoff, when those nine engines throttle down before shutting down completely. God, this slows the vehicle down just a touch before the first and second I stages separate, section. and once this is complete, the second stage space-optimized Rutherford engine ignites to take the payload and kick stage the rest of the way into orbit. These three events happen in quick succession, so let's keep an eye out and Stay listen in for the calls for the from Mission Control. Stand by for MECO in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burn light detect mode. Miko confirmed. Operation success. Stage two ignition confirmed. Done, done, and done. And with that, we've confirmed MIGO, stage separation, and ignition of the space-optimized Rutherford engine on the second stage. At this point, as Electron has cleared most of the Earth's atmosphere, it can also jettison the fairing, as it is no longer needed to protect the payload. Fairing jettison succeeded. Guidance is nominal. Electron's fairing has now been ejected with the two pieces falling away to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. Electron's second stage is continuing nominally on its way to orbit, carrying this inspective payload. The vehicle is currently at 132 kilometers altitude and reaching speeds of more than 9,000 kilometers an hour. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Electron's second stage continues on to orbit now at just over 9,700 kilometers an hour and at an altitude of 155 kilometers. The nozzle is glowing bright as we hit T plus four and a bit minutes into the flight for the all night long mission for SAR imaging company, Synspective.
If you take a look at the panel on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see our propellant telemetry from Electron's Stage 2. Currently, we have about 60% of kerosene and about 60% of LOX remaining as we head into the next major milestone, the battery hot swap, a unique maneuver to Electron. Guidance is nominal, 210 seconds remaining. Throttling down. As I mentioned before, up next is a familiar mission milestone, the battery hot swap. This is where we take the depleted batteries powering the electric pump inside the second stage Rutherford engine and swap them out mid-flight for a fresh one to power us the rest of the way to orbit. If you watch closely, hopefully you'll catch the battery ejection and see it fall away from the stage. Keep an eye out for a silvery object on the right. Hot swap successful. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. Battery jettison confirmed. And there we go, successful battery hot swap. Electron is now traveling at over 16,000 kilometers an hour and is at an altitude of just over 200 kilometers. And with that hot swap completed, we are approaching second engine cutoff, or SECO. This is just a few minutes away, expect it to occur at around T plus 9 minutes and 5 seconds. T plus 7 minutes into flight, an electron is well on its way to orbit. The Stage 2 Rutherford engine is burning hot and bright with 25.8 kilonewtons of thrust being produced. The Rutherford engine, you may not have known, is named after famous New Zealand physicist Sir Ernest Rutherford, who pioneered many things, including being the first to split an atom. HV battery discharge holding nominal. If you take a look again at the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see Electron's Stage 2 and Kick Stage trajectory values tracking pretty closely to our estimates. Today's launch of Synspective's Strix-3 brings our satellite launch tally up to 178 satellites, with plenty more scheduled for this year in our launch manifest. This includes one coming up very soon from Launch Complex 2 in Virginia. into Burnett Tech Mode. All right, we're about eight and a half minutes into flight and quickly approaching SECO. Much like Kumiko earlier, the Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage will throttle back and shut down ahead of kick stage separation following a few seconds later. We're standing by now with mission control for those milestones. Seco confirmed. Stage three separation confirmed. Nominal transfer orbit achieved. 